I'm kind of worried for this anime, man. Anytime an anime has, like, different delays in terms of production or scheduling, I don't know exactly what's going on behind the scenes, but it's not looking too good for Zom. We did leave off at a pretty high point, though, and I can't believe our best friend fucking, he just showed his bussy to the fish shark thing. The shark zombie was then attracted to the bussy. And then we did the hero punch and we got her number two. Now what are we doing? I think we're about to visit our family back in Gunma or something, right? Let's begin today's reaction. We're trying to get a Rolex right now? I never found the appeal of luxury watches because it's like, why do you need a watch to tell your time when you have your smartphone? A watch is pretty much like a, a symbol of I don't know, that you're rich, that you're pretty well off. It's kind of a flex, right? Do you really need this shit? I'm actually still surprised that the power grid was up, like, until now, because usually everything is just a blackout. Yeah, to be honest, it's been kind of easy mode recently. The fact that we had access to technology and electricity and news like that. <laughs> work never ends. But instead of working for someone that's uh, gonna abuse you, you could work for yourself, you know? The... Beautiful sky? Wow, amazing. Yeah, if you forget the zombies down below, this ain't, this ain't so bad, right? Major power outages, zombie apocalypse, it ain't so bad. Hmm? His parents, right? I thought we we're going back to Gunma. I don't say that shit, bro. Don't say that shit. You don't know it. That, that, that flags are tripping, bro. I don't know, man. Fingers crossed, but do you know how it usually happens in zombie shows? Uh, roadside food. In like... What? An RV? A decked out RV? Okay! Where, where are we gonna get this though? Wait... Oh! It's her! It's her! As soon as I thought of Shiba, I was like, wait... What are the odds? What are you doing here? Are you stalking us? Hmm. Maybe she's headed to Gunma too. <laughs> yeah, three time, three time, bro. It's a, it's a destiny, fate. That's right. Make your move. I think she already got rizzed up to a point, but she's gonna say no. Bro, we fucking saved your life. What do you mean we saved your life? Nah, she's just being super soon today, dude. Eventually, she'll have to team up. And you don't need a license to drive, do you? Like, fuck it. Really? RVs are just that good? I mean, she's been watching film studying zombie movies, right? The reference purpose is not. She's directly studying off of it, taking notes. Is it? I don't remember seeing many RVs in zombie shows. Nah. Every time she says no, it's not even a no, it's like, no. Who's gonna check the cops? Maybe she doesn't know how to drive. True! You're gonna crash! Oh, she's actually getting flustered. Because she knows we're right. Hey, yo. Hey, yo! <laughs> Come on, just join the team! I think she'll join. What if there's zombies in here? But so far, we can just take any RV we want. The tank one. We take the tank one. Probably impractical. But still, these RVs are pretty cool. What are these, like, battle bots? These are so luxurious. And he's already naked. I love how his, like... <laughs> The censorship for his, like, for his fucking dick and ass is just, like, scribbly. God, she is so analytical. Everything she does is so pragmatic. So many calculations on calculations on calculations. She's thinking, like, seven steps ahead. Damn, look at this guy. Yeah, it's a big boy. But, but, what do we find? It's a Bentley. Bro, it's a fucking Bentley RV. I didn't even know they made these. This is the luxury RV he's thinking about. Okay. She's gonna say no, right? Why are we asking her like we're at the grocery store? It's like, please, mom, I want this new toy. Fuck it. Take two vehicles then. You drive that, we drive this. Can we push her enough? Will she agree? Maybe she'll fold? Yeah, but he's not really thinking about that. 
That's a very good point. That's a very good point that she needs to listen to. People like Suzuka are so focused looking into the future that she can never appreciate the present. Oh? Oh, she's first. Okay, this one? <laughs> Why are you going all Doki Doki on me? Wow, she loves the interior, huh? Alright, let's get this one then. Oh my god, I've never seen her make that face, bro. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Come on, loosen up a little. Now live a little. Come on now. And they're already in here. Alright, find the RV. Let's get going. Which one we taking? Can we even drive it out of here? We took a pretty normal looking one, huh? At the end of the day. We should have took the Bentley, man. I mean, <laughs> this is on the apocalypse, bro. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Yeah, I wonder how this all started. Jesus Christ, dude, her outfit. I know it's just sports gear, but goddamn. Usually it is just a zombie outbreak as a virus, right? Usually transmission is done through like bites, you know? Like blood, if you share blood or if they somehow like bite you. The saliva has the zombie virus, I don't know. Okay, but how do you make the vaccine though? Yeah. Exactly, we need to meet this group of people. We need to meet way more people and team up and have a bunch of scientists in some kind of lab facility. Maybe it's out in Gunma. Yes, in the RV. Woo, RV sleepover. Oh, the wheels. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, and it's already fucking done. It's already fucking done. Come on now. I mean, I guess it's too hard to react to that, right? But who the fuck laid that out? Actual people. Kenzo, you good? Ah, uh, it looks pretty rough, but I'm sure it's not too fatal. Now, I'm more interested in who laid the traps out. Because usually in these shows, I keep saying... The real antagonists are not the zombies, it's other people. Oh, there they are. Our first signs of a different human group. There we go, finally, and it's a fucking baseball squad. <laughs> it's a baseball team, bro. They know him. Old college days? What the fuck is this guy, dude? Why is he reminding me of some, uh, the CEO? Fat, ugly bastard caricature right here, but goddamn. What is this, college baseball days? No, it is just literally him. It's literally our like manager. Holy fuck. I, how, do, how did he even get into the position with the baseball team? God, he is the worst though. Like I have no, I don't have any good feeling. We can't team up with these dudes. <laughs> yeah, a fucking baseball team. I didn't expect you to survive, dude. How did you even get to this position? I'm not. He's not glad either. Bro, come on. You're fucking going back to the corporate bullshit. It's because he's so used to it, right? Yeah, it's, it's almost like past tra trauma that makes him, like, act this way. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Nah, nah, I don't believe it, bro. There's got to be some exchange, though. Bullshit. Bullshit. Don't trust. Uh-uh. I... Uh-uh. I don't buy this. I do not buy this. Or maybe he really did mature. But, really. Shizuka, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, right. Bro, I bet the first thing he did was fucking sacrifice his employees to try to get out the building. There it is. However... Oh my god, bro. We should go in, take all the supplies, and leave. That's what we should do. Suzuka bail us out. Yep, they literally just trap them with these spikes. Take all their shit. Yep. Yep. Nah, that is quite the realistic interpretation. Ruthless looter says the looter himself. Oh, the zombies are coming too, huh? Here they are. We don't really have a choice. We just have to go with it. And then we take all that shit and leave. Why two days? We don't have an option, bro. We don't fucking have an option. We just have to go with it and then just leave. But it sucks to see Tendo frozen up like this. 
She's gonna fucking slap him. Oh my god, bro. My man, I thought you were over all this bullshit, but I guess seeing your old manager just kind of reverts all that, huh? This is sad. Ugh. Ugh, I'd be happy to work for you again. Like, ugh. I mean, what other choice do we have, but... Fuck this dude, man! I hope at the end of this arc, we just end up leaving with all their shit and then zombies just eat stuff at fuck, dude. That's what I hope is gonna happen. But why is it just two days? Exactly. Shizuka knows better. Why two days? Nothing's changed, though. Except now we're doing fucking manual labor outside instead of a cushy office job. Uh, no, they'll probably be all be taken by the baseball team and the manager, 100%. Oh my god, look how frozen he is, bro. He can't even talk again. Because again, like, it's because he's lived every day in front of this kind of toxic system. So he can't break out of it that easily. You know what? Like, objectively, he's not wrong. Electricity is really rare. But the baseball team kind of seems to like it, maybe? Yeah, cold beer. Hmm. Okay. Interesting how he just fucking changes instantly for the baseball players. Because if he said no, obviously it's worse for him because he's been like giving them shitty shit so far. Look at him take all the credit. Look at him take all the fucking credit. This slimy piece of shit. I wonder though if you can make everybody turn on him. You know what? As shitty as he is, he is extremely smart, like, and cunning. The fact that he was able to pivot immediately like that and then just turn the- then just t take his credit and just turn the favors? Wait, what the fuck is this? What? This is actually kind of genius. No, 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 let him cook. Let him actually cook for a second. I don't think this is unethical. It's fucking the zombies we're talking about. I think that this is brilliant, actually. I don't know, like... Maybe I'm super fucked up, too, but... Okay, this is fucked up. You can't just compare, like, him as an equipment. But those zombies? That's pretty much a free workforce. Oh, Tendo, please do something, dude. He's such a piece of shit! Oh, aren't you a little bit too close to him? Wait, 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 aren't you a little bit too close to the zombies there? I think that ending sequence with Tendo walking by the zombies is supposed to illustrate or kind of show that Tendo kind of feels like he has equipment like the zombies. And say what you will say, I think, if anything, that manager is shitty, but the way that he uses the zombies for manual labor, I think that's actually brilliant. I think that's actually brilliant, but super dangerous to be that close. How is this arc going to go down? I have a feeling that manager is probably going to eat by a zombie. But before that, we need to stand up for ourselves. We need to take all their fucking shit. But the thing is, there's other people around that we might not be able to save. Like the baseball teams and the manager are probably trash, but everyone else, there's like innocent other people, right? I'm not sure if we can take them all. I don't really know. But I have a feeling the manager, oh bro, it's gonna be sweet revenge pretty soon. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.